Two weeks, Oklahomans are going to vote on several local, state, and federal elections. And in Tulsa, three city charter amendments are also on the ballot. News on 6's Matt Ron is live with a closer look at them. Matt? That's right, Lori. Those three amendments proposed to change three things for the city of Tulsa, clarifying how the mayor's salary is set, residency requirements for candidates, and how long the city auditor is in office. Proposition 1 would delete an obsolete dollar amount mentioned in the city charter and continue to allow the city council to set the mayor's salary by ordinance. Mayor G.T. Bynum says he wants to make it clear that this does not mean he's getting a raise. What uh, we found from a legal standpoint is that there's a discrepancy between the language that's in our city charter and the language that's in our city ordinances. And so this is just legal cleanup. It won't impact what the mayor gets paid at all. It's just cleaning up that discrepancy. Any raise voted on by city council would not take effect in the mayor's current term. Proposition 2 addresses how long a candidate running for city office must live in Tulsa before running. It would require those running for mayor and city auditor to have lived in Tulsa for at least one year and those running for city council to live in the district they're running for. I think for the councilors and I, this was a common sense change. Uh, it brings us in line with what you see in most cities around the country. The third amendment would change the length of the term for city auditor from two years to four years. For an executive level role like the mayor, it makes more sense to have a two year or a four year term. And for the auditor who's providing that oversight of our government, having a four year term makes sense as well. And so we put that on the ballot for the citizens to consider too. And the election for these propositions will be on the August 23rd ballot. Early voting starts on the 18th. Live in Tulsa, Matt Ron, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.